What's up, my dude? Your friendly neighborhood Tony here, and today we're going to talk about whether or not Emancipation is going to be Will Smith's comeback story of the year, or if it's another swing and a miss. So as I do with all my reviews, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the movie, then I'll go into the pros, the things I liked, the cons, things I didn't like, and then finally give you my recommendation. Emancipation stars, of course, Will Smith in the lead role with one of my favorite, absolutely insane actors, Ben Foster, playing the main antagonist in the movie. Emancipation Emancipation is directed by Antoine Fuqua, who you probably know from directing Training Day. That is definitely the biggest movie he's ever done. He's also directed The Replacement Killers, The Equalizer, Olympus Has Fallen, and The Magnificent Seven. But I think for sure the best movie he's ever done is Training Day. Until now? So what is the movie about? Okay, Emancipation takes place in 1863, which for my history buffs out there is when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. That's when President Lincoln, of course, wrote to free all of the slaves. Now, of course, a, a significant chunk of the South was not about that life, so they held on to the people that they had enslaved at that time. And this movie tells the story about a particular enslaved person who goes by Peter in the movie, although I believe the actual historical figure's name was Gordon. And it tells his story of escaping slavery and making his way all the way over to the Union Army at the time, and very famously having his photo taken, which was a major boon in publicizing everything that was going on with slavery at that time to the rest of the world. So this movie is definitely based off of actual historical events, although we don't have a ton of information as to what exactly happened with Gordon or as he's called in the movie, Peter. We do know a few key moments, and this kind of fills in the blanks with everything else. Now, I will warn you, this movie is, of course, rated R and is absolutely not for kids. There are some very disturbing scenes of people being whipped and tortured and killed. So just know that going into it, this is not, <laughs> of course, going to be any lighthearted story. So what are the things that I liked about this movie? Well, for one, I will tell you the cinematography I thought was really eye-catching. They did a thing where it wasn't black and white, but they desaturated the image so much so that it was almost black and white. There were just little hints of color throughout the movie. And of course, I'm sure they did this to kind of bring you in to let you know about how hopeless and just dark and sad these times were in America. So that imagery was very well done. Also, I thought Will Smith did a very good job in this role. This is a departure from most of what we see him do in general. And I feel like although you may consider this to be an Oscar Beatty type performance and movie, you can't deny the fact that he did a really good job in the role. There were, of course, a couple moments throughout the movie where you look at his character and you do see Will Smith, the actor, but I feel like that's just unavoidable when you are one of the most famous people on the planet and have such a distinct personality that we all know and have known for decades. I also think Ben Foster did a really good job, but that's just, I mean, he always does a phenomenal job, especially when he gets to play these unhinged kind of terrible people. He is just a phenomenal actor, so I am not at all surprised that he was able to elevate the performance. You can also really tell that they did not spare any expense in making this movie. Of course, Will Smith himself gets paid a ton of money as it is, but aside from that, the scenes, the way they were shot, the extras that they had, there were so many people on screen at any given time. You can tell that they were really investing fully in the scenery, the imagery, the set design, the costumes, everything was so well done. And finally, I think the concept of which this movie revolves around the story of this individual and the image that was released of them back in the 1800s is such a compelling and interesting seed that you can kind of grow a movie out of. So at its core, it's very interesting and something that I would absolutely love to know more about. But now we get into the things that I didn't necessarily like about the movie. And of course, I want to preface this with saying all film is subjective. So the things that I don't necessarily like about this movie may not be the things that you don't like or vice versa. So feel free to jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts if you've seen Emancipation. I want to hear what you have to say as well. But as far as the things I didn't necessarily like about the movie, well, for one, it definitely felt like it dragged. The movie is, I believe, two hours and seven minutes long. And as far as what I felt they had for the actual content, there was maybe 45 minutes to an hour of actual story. And the rest just felt like they were filling time. Of course, I don't want to spoil anything, but 
as you already know, the majority of the movie is about Will Smith's character escaping from slavery. And throughout that time, he's making his way through the swamps of Louisiana to get to Baton Rouge, which is where Lincoln's army is. And watching that, to me, it really just felt like they didn't know what to do with the conflict throughout that time. Of course, you have Ben Foster's character hunting him down as he's trying to escape, and it just felt almost like rinse and repeat encounters over and over again with slight variations where you would have Will Smith's character going through a swamp and then Ben Foster's character would catch up to him and they would have a conflict and then Will Smith would escape again and and it just felt like they were doing that over and over and they were really stretching out that runtime. Then eventually once Will Smith's character, once Peter gets to Lincoln's army, it feels like the movie is over at that point. But then you realize there's more than 30 minutes left of runtime and it just kind of let the air out of the balloon where you were ready to be like, oh, wow, look, he made it. It's This is great. What a wonderful ending. And then it's just like, no, there's still a quarter of the movie left to go. So definitely some issues with the pacing. It just felt like they just didn't have enough content and they were really just trying to stretch for time. And here's the thing. You can have a movie that is longer, or I wouldn't even say this is a longer movie, but you can have a movie where not a lot is happening if the characters themselves are interesting enough or are communicating in a manner that keeps you enthralled and and tied into what's going on on screen even if it's not really much of anything i'll give you an example the movie clerks now of course this movie and clerks are vastly different movies but i just say that to say in the movie clerks not a lot is really happening but the characters are communicating with each other in a way that keeps you connected to them and with this movie as you might imagine the majority of the film is peter escaping through the woods and the swamps by himself and so he's not really communicating. They're not really cutting away to other things going on or to flashbacks, at least not enough to make it compelling and to keep you connected to the story. So I just feel like if they didn't have a lot to go off of, if the movie was going to be as kind of empty as it was, they should have done more to connect you to the character and to maybe cut away to other things happening or to flashback to other things happening or to really just keep you involved while not a lot is occurring on screen. So I don't know if it's really an issue with the writing. I don't know. I'd love to see the script. I don't know if that's where it kind of fell apart or if it was in the editing or if just Antoine Fuqua had this idea of a movie and just didn't really flesh it out as much as he needed to. But all in all, it left me wanting more, which is not something you want to happen when you're watching a movie. Finally, I feel like the concept of this movie, the reason why this was made was because there was that famous picture that made its way around the world and they didn't really focus on that much at all. It, it You see the picture being taken in the movie, but they don't really explore what impact that had on the world. So I feel like if you're an hour and a half into the movie, you get to the part where Peter has found freedom and there's still 30 minutes left in the movie, well, explore what happens with that photo. Let's see the impact that that has on the world. And again, this may just be my personal preference, but I just feel like I would have rather seen what happened with that photo and the world at a larger scale from that point forward. We've already spent so much time with Peter and his individual journey Let's see what else happens. Let's let's expand out from there and kind of get a macro view of this whole situation. I don't know. That's just something that I might have liked to see. But that's really it. All in all, it was a pretty good movie. I am a little let down. I had higher hopes for this one, but I think Will Smith did a really good job. I think it's a fine film. It's not what I had built it up to be in my head and really not what they had advertised it to be. There was a lot of chatter about how this is not just another slave movie, but at the end of the day, it kind of falls in line with a lot of the other movies that have been about this particular subject in American history, which is fine because those stories deserve to be told. I mean, if any story deserves to be told, these stories do. But if you're going to say that it is going to be something groundbreaking or different, and then it's really not, that's... That's just a letdown, I feel like. But those are just my thoughts. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty divisive film, and I feel like a lot of people are gonna be distracted by what has happened fairly recently with Will Smith. But let's just try to look at this as what it is, a piece of art, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Of course, if you wanna see more movie reviews, ranking videos, trailer reactions, I'm currently reviewing a Christmas movie every 
Sunday up until Christmas. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all that. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Be good.